Hey, this is uh, Sideburn Scroll coming um, at you with a review for one of my favorite TV shows, uh, 12 Monkeys. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing the episode that it was released last night, um, 100 Years. So, in this episode, Cole and um, Cassie go back to 1944 to uh, stop the uh, 12 Monkeys, or the Messengers, uh, from doing damage to the timeline and uh they basically uh there's there's some things that are figured out uh the messengers of course are like the people the actors who portrayed them are do an extremely good job uh in portraying them as uh, really creepy especially with the opening scene where uh they kill the couple and uh take their identity basically or Act, portray them to go to the party. Uh, the so basically, Cole and um, Cassie go through trying to figure out what's happening, and they figure out that they're trying to kill one of the uh, a Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, you know, in previous episodes, uh, somebody who's uh, I can't think of his name, but somebody who. Uh, has the same ability, who's connected to, uh, who can see through time, uh, like Jennifer Goins, you know, because she was insane, but also she knew what was going on more than anybody, uh, but basically they're trying to kill him, and they're trying to kill him with his own, uh, a shiv made from his own bone, which is, like, pretty insane, to create a paradox, and I just feel like the setting was really really well worked out the not only the setting was worked out but it played well with the storyline with the like sort of murder mystery going on because the uh messengers mist um mistook the father of the person they were trying to kill uh as you know the person they were ordered to kill and so they um killed him and uh, then Cole and Cassie had to figure out, oh, why did they kill him and just leave? You know, there has to be something more. So there's like a mystery element involved. You know what's going to happen next. As far as Ramsey and uh, Deegan, I really actually enjoy their sort of conflict. Even though it's like a little bit overplayed, I would say it's still really interesting. And I think Deegan's pretty cool. Uh, Deegan is annoying but he's supposed to be that way like he's when he's on the screen he's I don't know it's just like he's really annoying <laughs> to the fact where you love to hate him I guess is what I would say uh, overall the plot was pretty strong I didn't know what was gonna happen next and they really changed things up because basically at the end uh, they finally get to the guy and uh, the messengers are one of the messengers and they uh, kill him with a paradox and it severed the connection uh cole and cassie had to 2044 so now they're stranded along with uh the other messenger who i can't think of his name right now uh but uh so they're stranded there and uh i saw the preview next week and i'm pretty sure they're gonna send ramsey's back but really i give this episode a 9 out of 10 because you didn't it's so it was sort of like a mystery you didn't know what was going to happen next and it just happened to be uh really entertaining really action-packed too especially whenever they got to the mental asylum and tried to save the kid from the messengers and uh when the police got involved as well it it was just like a lot of a lot of uh, it was tense i would say and the minute details were great, too. Like, uh, whenever Cassie first arrived, she was really, you know, I wouldn't say, just like, she, you could tell that she had never time traveled before, just the way she was dressed and stuff and how people looked at her. And how, that's how they would react, I would guess, if somebody came in with those clothes at that time period. It's just the minute details really helped make this episode great, so... I give it 9 out of 10. So this has been the review for 12 Monkeys. Uh, 
100 years, not 100 days, 100 years, uh, by Sideburn Scroll. Uh, there will be more reviews for TV shows coming. I give it 9 out of 10. Uh, I'm signing off.